And the big story we're following at 5 o'clock, taking legal action. The family of a man killed in a confrontation with squeegee workers now says they are suing the city. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. Now, lawyers for the family of Timothy Reynolds say there is no question they believe he would still be alive if the city had enforced laws which are on the books. WJZ is live at the intersection where Reynolds lost his life. Yeah, let's get to Paul Gessler with what the family attorney had to say today. Paul. Rick, just over seven weeks ago at this hour, rush hour, it was a Thursday night, Timothy Reynolds was shot and killed on the corner of Conway and Light, a teenage suspect now facing murder charges as an adult, and Reynolds' family says they have, they have every intent to sue the city. Some damage. Um, to the front of his car. Attorney Michael Snyder shows WJZ the damage to Timothy Reynolds' car that caused him to get out and confront the squeegee workers, he says, who were responsible. Mr. Reynolds, after having his car damaged, you know, was one of the people that said, I've had enough. Reynolds got his son's baseball bat. So he, he swung it at everybody. Prosecutors say one of the squeegee workers threw a rock at him. Reynolds became disoriented and was walking away when he was shot. Mr. Reynolds had three children. Unfortunately, he's been portrayed Poorly. He's not a bat wielding maniac or anything like that. He's a he's a gentle, nice man. WJZ viewed the only known video of the incident from a dash cam several cars back. There's no clear view of the confrontation, but multiple gunshots were heard. The laws need to be enforced. Reynolds' family notified the city and state of its intent to sue for damages, arguing officials aren't doing enough to prevent what Snyder describes as aggressive panhandling. People are scared to go downtown. People are scared to drive downtown, and that's it shouldn't be that way. The suspect, who was 14 at the time, is charged as an adult with murder, assault, and gun charges. Reynolds' family intends to file a multi-million dollar lawsuit, but Snyder says they want change. The most important thing for the family is that this doesn't happen again. Back live now, where squeegee workers are at that same corner where this happened seven weeks ago. And many here have noticed an increased police presence since this incident as well. Snyder told me it's important to note police had been notified earlier that day that some squeegee workers were harassing drivers. Snyder argues that city officials, police, did nothing about that. For now, reporting live at 5 downtown, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.